Hey everyone, um, welcome to my channel, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to make these types of e effects, if you can see here. Uh, as you know, this is the Apple iCloud and this is the iPhone 4S Siri. So, um, as you can see, the metallic effects are very similar here and I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop. I'm going to be using uh, this iCloud and not this one, but it's basically the same thing. So first, I'm using Photoshop CS4. And first, um, just open up uh, a new um, title, and I'll just name it iCloud for this purpose. Um, I want 800 times 800 pixels. For your choice, it's your, your decision. So I'll just click OK. And it'll create my canvas. And first of all, you want to um, create um, select a gray color, foreground color, and a white background color. So the foreground color has to be gray, such that... Um, as you can see here, it's gray also to um, give the true effect. So I'll just select gray and I'll click OK. And select the round rectangle tool over here and change your radius to 120 pixels such that um, you may, you are able to get this type of effect. For uh, the Siri effect, you would have to take the circle, you have to take the ellipse tool, but in this case, I'm just using the rounded rectangle tool. So after get um, changing your radius to 120 pixels, just draw uh, something like that. And as you can see, uh, it'll form a shape. Okay, so um, after that, just right click on your new selected layer and go into blending options. And after that, go into gradient overlay, blend mode to overlay, and... Um, your angle to 90 and linear to angle so after that you um, because as you can see here it's in a round uh, sort of pattern and as you can see it's a round pattern all around here and so uh, you would want to change your gradient so um, in your gradient you have to um, use a gradient that will give you this type of effect a rounded image so um, you will have to select and create a new effect so if you want to create a new effect to save it you can go there and create new but in this case um, you have to make around five to seven stops over here to create so it's one two three four five six seven I'll just put seven and at the sides of this you will want to change it all to black so I'll just alternate between the colors so black white black white black white and so on and so forth and as you can see here you uh, will form a pretty nice aluminum effect so just drag and just um, separate them but um, you don't have to make it evenly as um, this type of effect as you can see here there's more white here than gray so you uh, don't have to make it even as you can see here also so just drag it all along and I'll just see if the effect will turn out nicely okay after that select your opacity and change it to around 60 percent okay after that you, you want to create a 3d effect and go into bevel and emboss so uh, for your style, you want to uh, change it to inner bevel and then also uh, change your technique to hard chisel, chisel hard. As you can see here, um, the bottom here will change your basically everything. And as you can see, there is a better effect. So your direction is up and your depth is 100%. Your size, you may want to increase it to the 10 to 12 to 15, sort of there. So I'm just going to change it to 10. After that, your highlight mode should be screen, your opacity 75%, and your uh, multiply opacity, you have to increase it to around 85%. As you can see here, it looks a nice, um, nice effect. So after that, we want to create a new layer. Go down here and just select, and just I'll just rename it iCloud. And after that, um, select your paint bucket tool and just... Um, bring everything into this gray which you already have in your foreground color 
So after that, you uh, have this this um, thing and go into help if you don't know and go into add noise. So just add noise. So around 6 to 7 percent and distribution, the Gaussian and tick this option and press OK. OK, after that, um, you want to go into radial blur and so um, change your amount to around 50 and spin and remember your quality has to be best such that um, it can create a very nice uh, refined image so I'll just press OK as you can see um, let's wait for it to process as you can see it is a nice rounded aluminum color which after that it will look really very nice after refining it Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm sorry for the interruption. Um, so after you go into um, curves from here, adjustment and curves, um, as you can see, it's a light uh, sort of roundish effect and you just drag it down uh, by bringing, uh, make it a little darker such that the tones will feel, uh, will look more clearer in the actual image. So I'll just make it a little darker from here. So just uh, put it in a bend and press OK. So after that, um, you, uh, press your command or control tool on your Mac is a command, control on the PC, command and press your shape such that it will outline this entire shape which you have formed. After that, when you select your iCloud, click this which is layer mask or you also can access it from I believe, yeah, you can access it from layer mask here. So um, you will get this circular thing around your layer mask. So after that, just go into um, this part and just select overlay. So it will create a very, very nice aluminum finish. But as you can see here, um, my circle is not really in line with the lights over here because I didn't place it in the proper position. So remember when you are first doing your picture uh, be sure to put um, try, try your heart try your best to put your shape um, in the middle as possible but you also can um, I believe you also can try moving it but uh, it may not look as nice as you can see here I moved but then there is the line spacing here so you should try to put it in the middle as possible when you first start designing so um, if you want to put your iCloud logo, you want to put your Siri logo, it's the same thing. Um, you can go Google Image Search. I'll be uh, providing a link, I believe, uh, in the links in the description to download for uh, an iCloud image such that if you want to do it, you can just put it in. And so this is uh, available, this aluminum texture, a nice, really nice texture can be applied to basically anything, logos. And you can even make the Siri logo. It's easier with the Siri logo than this, actually. So this is my tutorial on how to make the iCloud slash Siri logo aluminum texture. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I have many tu uh, Photoshop tutorials and uh, many game stuff. So be sure to subscribe. Hit the button above. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button above. And thanks for watching.